So in this question then, we're being asked to find the time that it takes to reach that maximum height on the second cycle. And in the previous part, we saw that for the maximum height, this part of the function had to equal negative 1. So we've just got to figure out then the value of t where this equals minus 1 on the second cycle. And if we look at the graph of y equals cos theta, we know that it equals negative 1 when it's at 180 degrees and at another 360 degrees beyond 180. That's going to be 540 degrees. So all we need to do is equate the part in the brackets to 540. So if you do that, you're going to get the 80t plus 16.699 and so on equals 540. And now we just need to rearrange this for t. And so if we subtract 16.699 from both sides and divide by 80, you'll get t to be equal to this. And if you work this out on your calculator, remember this is going to come out in minutes. It comes out at 6.541 and so on minutes. And we need to give the time to the nearest second. So what you can do is, we know this is going to be 6 minutes, but this is 0.541 of a minute. Now if you did 0.541 and so on times 60, that would give us the number of seconds. So if you do that, you'll find you get 6 minutes then and 32.47 and so on seconds. So to the nearest second, it's going to be 6 minutes 32 seconds.